Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and post questions for its discussion. Check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Helen, a docent at the museum. Today, we'll explore collaboration and imagination using a winter scene from Utagawa Hiroshige's series, The 53 Stations of Hokkaido. Hiroshige was a samurai artist who celebrated the famous spots on the Tokaido, the Japanese shogun's great road that connected Kyoto with Edo, today's Tokyo. Evening snow at Kambara is a peaceful scene showing three travelers plodding through ankle-deep snow as night descends. You can almost hear the faint crunch of their footsteps as one traveler uses an umbrella and two use rain capes to shield themselves from the still falling snow. Road, trees, rooftops, and distant hills all are covered with snow. The predominant colors of the woodblock print are deep black and various shades of gray, contrasting with the white snow. But our eyes are drawn to the bright blue on the coats of two of the men and touches of gold on the umbrella and straw rain capes. It's one of the most beloved prints in the series reproduced countless times in the last 180 years since it was first published. Did you notice the faint line at the top of the print? That's not part of the design. I learned from an art dealer in Japan that it probably means that a tourist bought it in Edo when he visited the city. He folded it so that it would fit in his luggage. Over the next years, that fold discolored the print. Some traveler really loved this composition and had to have it to show his friends back home. Where's the collaboration I mentioned earlier, you might ask? Cam's print is a second state or second version of the design. Here it is in the first state from the Japanese Art Open Database. Traditionally in Japanese prints, the color to indicate the sky is at the top, as you see here. Here Shige worked with a skilled woodblock printer to inject more emotional impact in the print by changing the area of deep black in the second state version of the print. Compare the first state on the left and the second state on the right. The black is more prominent, now directly behind the rooftops in the hill. The placement of the black emphasizes the cold white snow. Most prints on the market today are the second state. Doesn't it make you shiver more? There are two elements of the composition that show Hiroshige's imagination. First, the hill on the left and the slope of the road up to the right are straight from the artist's imagination. I've walked through Kambara and can report that this village is on very flat land. The hills in the background are correct, but those diagonals in the foreground are there to make the composition more dynamic. Second, here is Shige visited Kambara in the summer. Snow transformed an uninteresting village into a memorable composition. Also, it almost never snows in Kambara. Today, the Yui Hiroshige Museum is in the middle of Kambara. There's a great model of the village's homes and businesses as they existed in the 1830s when Hiroshige walked through and sketched the scene. You can see how the Tokaido ran straight across the flat landscape. Thanks for joining me on a snowy evening at Japan thanks to Utagawa Hiroshige's imagination and collaboration with a skilled printer. How do you like to enjoy snow? Do you build a snow fort, ski down a mountain slope, or take a walk at night and enjoy the quiet snowfall? How would you sketch or paint a snow scene? This print is currently not on view, but the next time you visit the museum, stop by Gallery 118 to see another winter scene of snow on rooftops in The Midnight Mass by Cincinnati's own Edward Hurley. Thank you.